Advancements continue when it comes to electric vehicle technology and innovative energy. And there's a big workforce demand for these new jobs. The Mahoning County Career and Technical Center is making moves to better prepare students. First News Weekend anchor Megan Lee was at the groundbreaking for the new training center at MCCTC. MCCTC broke ground today for the Innovative Energy and Technology Workforce Training Center. It provides another opportunity for high school students and adults in the area. You know, we're always trying to think ahead, and so two years ago we had bought the EV, and we really kind of took a guess that it's going to, you know, as we know, it's big in the valley, and so today it kind of led up to this, along with the, the energy piece has been so important for us in expansion of our electricity program. Construction on this new training center is expected to start in just a few weeks in mid-November and students should be able to use it come September. John Zettenbauer, superintendent of MCCTC, tells me the interest in EV has grown quite a bit. A year ago when we brought those first EVs, the students were, didn't really know what to think of them because maintenance is completely different. There's not a combustible engine and so um, they've kind of grown on it. William Tadlock tells me he's grateful for this new training opportunity. It's the new wave coming in, so we're going to be really experienced for the future, and I feel like that's a really good thing to have. Zettenbauer believes this $1.1 million investment of new technology and training will help the local workforce. So the students are realizing in order to, to be part of the workforce, they're going to have to understand how they work and how they operate. A donation from Mahoney County Commissioners, grant money, and local funds are making this project possible. In Canfield, Megan Lee, WKBN 27 First News.